just wanted to share a few images here with some background information slash deconstruction um, just so you can uh, know what my thinking was behind these and how these images came about. Um, these, these four images are kind of a result of me messing about and trying different things uh, and things presenting themselves in front of me, not necessarily something I planned to do specifically, uh, but just stuff that I saw at the time and that I was kind of looking for something and I was trying to be open to ideas, which isn't easy all the time, especially when you're under pressure at weddings and you kind of might be a bit tired or you might be a bit flustered or stressed or thinking about all the other things that you need to do. Uh, so this wedding here um, was at a place called Holmes Mill. This part of the venue that you can see is one of the only parts <laughs> that you're allowed to use that's not um, used by the general public. So it's where everybody does all the portraits and group shots and that kind of stuff on the whole. And if it's quiet, you can go around the venue. It's a lovely venue. There's a park across the road as well. If you ever go there where you can get some nice sunshine in the evening that you don't get at the venue because um, of the buildings being in the way. So the the band that you can see at the top was one of these Roman brass bands. They they had their first dance and the band started and the band took everybody outside. And I was, um, I'd kind of seen this angle before because I was looking at um, ideas of how to shoot different bits and bobs. And this, I'm actually shooting, it looks maybe like a drone photograph, but it's not. It's just uh, shot out of a window and the stairwell um kind of there's windows as you go up the stairwell. So going on to maybe about the third floor here, something like that, and, and just managed to stick my camera out of a, a window that opened a little bit in the stairwell and shooting down. And one of the reasons I was looking at this is because I got really annoyed with this um, videographer who you can see here. And you can see how close he was to the bride and groom, and he was pretty much getting in all my shots as he had done quite a lot of the day. Um. Well, I managed to get what I needed, of course, but it, and I had to tell him a couple of times to move, but it was quite tricky, and he seemed to shoot in quite an, an obtrusive way, which maybe is the way I shoot because I wanted to stand where he was stood. Um, so I was kind of just wandering around, seeing what was what. Uh, and I think I'd seen this angle earlier on in the day, but I didn't realise they were going to be out here, uh, and it just it took a few a few frames, and this is the one that um, was kind of the, the best kind of spaced out where you could see a little bit um, what was going on. So I really like this one. Uh, okay, so this one here is at a place called Stock Farm Barn in Cheshire. Uh, and I'm actually stood in the field behind the barn, which isn't part of the venue. Um, it's just kind of muddy field. It's slightly raised up, but there's this one window here that they, don't, they actually do weddings in front of it, I think. Uh, and the bride and groom were, were entering the room. So they've come from this door behind. And uh, I don't know if you can see where my my mouse is moving. I don't know if it's going to record the mouse movement on this one. But uh, you can see the door behind them is where they came in. And to, to the left of the, the picture is where the guests are seated. So they're coming straight forwards towards this window. And I, I, I do this thing where I just kind of wander around the venue to see what's what and I like to look around the back of everything to see if there's any interesting walls and I think I was looking at the back to see if there was any kind of scope for because the sun went down on the, the far side there so behind the couple and the sun was just going down at this time and I would think I was in this field looking at whether um, if I was a bit further back we'd get some late sunshine still directly into that field but it had gone behind the trees but it was still kind of coming in here a little bit and they had some drums and some smoke going on. Uh, I wouldn't have shot in this way if I didn't have a second shooter, uh, Gav, who's who's just doing the usual uh, couple entering the room type pictures. Um, but I knew he had that covered. Entering the room for me is not, I mean, it's, it's, it's a key part of the day, I suppose, but it's not really much of an image, I, I think, unless you try and do something different with it. Uh, or it's really kind of energetic, then it can be great. Um, so I just thought I'll 
I'm going to shoot that from out here. And I thought with that light, I may be able to silhouette them in that in that space as they came in, if they walked in the right place. So it's just, you know, I've tried stuff like this before and it's not worked, but this time that's probably the best frame. You can see their outline quite clearly. Uh, and in the, in the story of the day, you have seen it through a slideshow or an album, you know, what time of day this is, they certainly will anyway, there's some getting ready pictures. Uh, it was kind of a private Airbnb type place and the bride had come outside to finish uh, uh, veil and that kind of thing just outside. This is, so what I'm here doing here is I'm shooting through a, through a patio door. So the dog was being a pain in the ass. So they put it inside, but it was just looking out the window. Um, the dog belongs to the bride and groom. Uh, and he was just looking out the window, trying to get out. Uh, and I saw that because he was quite close to the glass, the exposure on his face and, and the, the scene behind me was, was similar. So I could actually expose for that, uh, for the dog's face quite well and still get the detail behind. Um, so just shooting through the glass and kind of angling the camera in such a way that I can get uh, some of the scene. I didn't tell them what to do. They, the mum was just fixing the dress here. Uh, they were quite busy and I think they wanted to go outside just so we could get some pictures with the bride and the bridesmaid before. Uh, but, I like this picture because, you know, this and, and for the couple as well, this is their little dog. I forget his name, unfortunately, but um, he uh, he's just there pining to come out. He wants to be part of the wedding. He's got his bow tie on ready and they won't let him out. Um, so that's kind of why I like that frame in, um, in terms of kind of storytelling. I think for this particular wedding, you could probably uh, have a series of images with this dog in that told the story of the day, although they did send him home. Uh, in the evening because he was he was being a pain again. <laughs> uh, this is from an engagement shoot uh, in Switzerland. Uh, so I, I like this image because it's kind of split into three hor horizontally, um, but there's no kind of Photoshop trickery going on here. What's what's happening is they're across the other side of the road to me, just against the wall. There were some things on the wall which I did actually remove. I think some signs here and here. Um, but um, there's a piece of glass and the camera is angled upwards. So I'm shooting, I don't know if I'm just under the piece of glass or I'm shooting through the piece of glass. Um, but this is the buildings across the road and the mountains, the reflection of the mountain and the sky that's actually behind me. So it's a similar kind of, um, thing to this where I'm facing the dog and the bride and the bridesmaids are behind me. Uh, I'm just shooting through this glass, it's like um, a path leading up from the train station, but it was a glass barrier. So, and that was about head height and I was down. So shooting across the road and upwards, I got the couple re relatively clearly, but this, this kind of part of the building and part of the reflection. Uh, and to get that more detail there, I think I must have cranked up the, um, the aperture or closed the aperture down, if you like, to maybe... Um, 6.3 or something like that. So there are four images that I just wanted to kind of go through and a little explanation of, of how I went about it. And, and each one, again, this one, I didn't um, specifically plan this. We were just walking around and as we walked past this piece of glass, I could see the reflection in the mountains behind uh, and this nice clean wall and just thought, well, you know, we could try something here, um, see what works. Uh, and that's what I tend to do. This is more of a documentary one. Uh, in that, that was kind of more of a spur of the moment thing. This one's again slightly planned, and this one slightly planned, of course. Um, but I have s some ideas in my head for all of these, uh, and it may have worked, it may not have worked. I do plenty of stuff that doesn't work, but um, I do like these four images. Hope you found that useful. Any questions, give us a shout. Cheers.